Hello guys, welcome to an NGB special where we're analysing the GTA 5 trailer that was released a couple of days ago. I'm Asim, I've got with me two new recruits, I've got Ariel. Hello, hello. And I've got Sir Aaron. I'm here to take you back, Adam Batty can have you no longer, <laughs> you are mine. Uh, it seems like I am, but uh, <laughs> let's get into the trailer. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, inappropriate for children, so uh, Aaron, uh, you can't play this game. Peggy, 18. <laughs> so you start off with a nice little uh, sunshine holding hands on the beach. We are in Los Angeles. Uh, nice little start here. Rockstar presents. Uh, you've got the nice sunshine. You've got the city sky in the background. Uh, it seems like there's a more vibrant look, guys. Uh, Aaron, what do you think? Yeah, definitely. Um, it'd be interesting to see if they, they stick with the uh, the very uh, cartoony, uh, cartoony humor that's present in normal GTA or if they stick with the serious type of humor we had in the previous iteration i know a lot of people had like troubles like like ugh, kind of feeling yeah. more mature through, uh, through, through that kind of thing they, they, they didn't really like it because it wasn't typical gta but you know i love both styles and either way i think we're in for something quite quite awesome here indeed indeed and here you see a pause here in the trailer uh, looking at the cars ariel uh, you're a, you're a big pc gamer uh, do you think the cars are better than the, the mod that we saw recently? Uh, it's definitely hard to say because I didn't actually play the mod. But I think Aaron was saying basically that the mod went really far with the cars. So whilst the cars look, still look great, the mod might be a little bit better. But it's good to see the cars getting a bit of innovation. Yeah, more detail, more visual, visual detail. As you see the trailer move along there, there was uh, some houses. And the freeway you saw there was a Los Puertos sign. So we might get to see more areas. And do you think well, this will just be based in... Uh, Los Santos guys, or do you think we'll see more areas? Aaron? Um, I, I know there's a lot of speculation at the moment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold back on the speculation. I don't, feel, I don't feel like Rockstar would bring back an old character and explore old territory. I think they'll want to push the boat out and do something new. At least I hope that's the direction they're going to go through. Not that it would be bad to see uh, Tommy Vercetti again. Yeah, you know. and, you're, and you're saying Tommy Vercetti, obviously, because you've got the pause here, and uh, yeah. th there's lots of speculation that, that this character will be Tommy Vercetti. Uh, Ariel, uh, thoughts on that? Oh, uh, no, the rumours are. Um, <laughs> we, we know we know Ray, Ray Liotta is not doing the voice, so they might have yeah. got a different voice actor. I mean, who knows? Aaron was saying that they never really bring a character back oh, as playable, but uh, they could set a new precedent here, so... Indeed. And a nice pause here as well. You see the nice effects for that plane went by, nice smoke effects and everything. So it seems like they have improved the engine quite a bit. Uh, you've got these guys picking, I think, tea leaves here, or could be drugs, who Lies, knows? Right. It's, it's cocaine, right? <laughs> it's, it's, it's <laughs> drug, who knows, yeah. And you saw the van there as well. Uh, so, so, so this is the main character. He, uh, obviously, they're going to some sort, some, some sort of heist here. Um, and there typical was a... B movie scene right here. Yeah. 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 Guys yeah. Boss running into a, a bank or whatever it is. Yeah, and the. The, the van there was a, a, a typical GTA style as though you had the bug stars putting the FU in Fumigate, which is always uh, the GTA style. And again, you see one of the cars here in this pause. And like you see the detail on the spokes and stuff, uh, uh, and the wireframes at the front as well. But the interesting thing that uh, I read on some forums was that there's different plates from the, num uh, uh, the actual number plates in the car that are different as well. So they've gone into more detail to uh, to get that sort of authentic feel with the cars as well. So more details in the cars, number plates different. Uh, so it seems like they're going all out with GTA 5 here. And we'll move on quickly. Uh, we've got uh, Up and Atom Burger, which is a, a nice little reference to our favorite Woo! place, uh, In-N-Out Burger. Uh, the the, the, the chips are really good there. Yeah, yeah, the chips. Yeah, the chips. <laughs> the, highs, the burgers are right. We, burgers we are, are... We're not catering for Jewish people here. <laughs> I'm lying, I'm lying. I'm not racist, really. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> And says once, uh, once it pings, eat like kings. That, 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 I'm not sure what that means, but it's typical GTA style, I guess. And again, you see the streets more vibrant here. There's a more uh, vibrant feel. Lighting. Day. We see the lighting is good. Exactly, exactly. Uh, which is which is getting Ariel a bit wet because he likes his tech. I do. Uh, I do. <laughs> is, that, is that a bit of camera flare, a little lens flare? I see there. Yeah, yeah. Seems, seems so. Seems so. And, and they've got the whole GTA style. They've got licorice. In uh, that's sort of a a word play there. Play on the words. You got the sexy women there as well, which is always nice. And you got a. a Ari, what are you doing in the trailer, man? I mean, if you <laughs> guys, need money, this guy need E3. If, this guy needs money. Come to me, man. You know, I'm always willing to help out a friend. <laughs> this isn't necessary. Well, Actually, sometimes you need a bit of money, and you need a sign. I actually read like it, it, 
this guy looks a bit like uh, Nico from GTA 4. <laughs> this guy was at E3 asking Pacta for some uh, for some change outside the Ubisoft conference. Maybe. How epic would that be if that was Nico on the side? Though? That would be, that'd be, that'd be, funny. It would be kind of epic. And again, you see a bit of a uh, lens flare going past the truck as well. And again, you can see uh, the whole sunshine aspect for lens flare again, but you see a jet. Uh, that that was sort of missing. That that sort of fun part, I guess, is missing from GTA Four. Do you, do you reckon we'll see jets in, in in GTA Five? Well, I think I think if they do include jets, it might hint at the the world being a lot bigger, like you were saying. I mean, because jets aren't slow things, are they? So you need a, a quite big playing field to be able to zoom around and have fun. So yeah, it, it might go hand in hand. It would really? definitely be fun. I'm sure a lot of uh, original GTA fans will be happy to jump out of planes head first. Then you saw a bike there as well. Uh, another epic chase. Uh, that car also, if you if you paused it at that time, would have had a, a different number plate. And we see Vinewood here from San Andreas, guys. I, I'm, I'm sure you guys will remember. Ariel, do you have fond memories of uh, Vinewood from San Andreas? I, I do, because San Andreas was my favourite GTA, despite everyone. Ooh, 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 go away, bye, and boys. No, San Andreas, because I liked I liked. <laughs> The, the, LA gang, feel. the gangster yeah. aspect. I, li- I like the ga- the RPG feel of like holding territory and eating burgers. Yeah, okay. eating burgers. Yeah, of course, that's a key part of a game. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> you got vine So that that might hint at uh, again more San Andreas aspects. Again, you see a plane flying by, uh, flying past there. That might sort of hint at bigger bigger areas, like as you move to different areas. But that's the trailer. Uh, overall summary. Uh, I'll start with Aaron. Thoughts on that? Uh, to be honest, my main thoughts are, I hope there's a PC version. I hope to <laughs> God there's a PC version. I want to see what people are going to do with this uh, new spruced up engine. And I want to see all the amazing mods the community are going to come out with. I'm yeah. sure Ariel will echo similar thoughts. <laughs> oh, no, it's amazing that we're, uh, we're doing this whole uh, little, small little podcast thing just for a trailer. It's amazing. <laughs> could, could you imagine how busy we were if we like did this for every single trailer? <laughs> like, this trailer's had so much hype. It's like... Yeah, well, well, I don't yeah, know. Okay. I, it's, it's a while off. It's a while off. Uh, yeah. There's lots of more games to play between then. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, it's looking good. And as Aaron says, hopefully the PC version will rock. <laughs> I got, I'm sitting here with the two PC guys here. Well, obviously, I hope it looks uh, looks like that on console as well. But the trailer, it's a, as first trailers go, obviously, I, I, I think the GTA 4 for the first one was slightly better. But, um, you know, it sort of hints at what to expect from GTA 5, I guess. And hope there's more open areas and stuff as well but that's our thoughts on gta 5 guys if you want to uh, comment on this post uh, you can do that below uh, but uh, thanks ariel for joining me and well, thanks, th- th- thank you for having me <laughs> of course it's, it's a pleasure it's a pleasure aaron are you there still no 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 i've gone i've gone <laughs> <He's> I'm <lost>. <laughs> <laughs> all right cheers guys thanks for watching